In this video, I'm going to be deriving the kinematic equations. I'm going to start off with a velocity graph. It has an initial velocity, and then at some point later, it's got a final velocity. And I'm going to first start with um, what the slope on a velocity graph represents. So it represents the acceleration. So the acceleration is equal to the rise over run, or the y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So we have v final minus v initial, that's the y2 minus y1, divided by the t final minus t initial. Now t initial is just going to be 0, so I'm just going to use t uh, to represent t final. I can rewrite this as vf minus vi, so I'm going to move the t to the other side, is equal to at. And then if I solve for vf, I get vi plus at. And this is our first kinematic equation. Our second kinematic equation, we're going to use the idea of the area under the curve, that it represents the displacement. So this area right here is vi times t. And this area right here is a triangle, so 1 over 2 base times height. Um, the height is v final minus v initial times t. So delta x is equal to the displacement, is equal to the area under the curve on a velocity versus time graph. So I'm just going to add these two areas of vit plus 1 over 2 v final minus v initial times t. Now if you look up here, you'll notice that v final minus v initial is just at. It's just at. So what I can do is I could do a little substitution. Delta x equals vi t plus 1 over 2. And this is just going to be at. And there's another t, so it's squared. So it's just going to be at squared. So this is my second kinematic equation. For my third kinematic equation, um, I'm going to use the, the definition of average velocity or how we calculate average velocity, which is the displacement divided by the time. The, to f another way to get the average velocity is to take the initial velocity plus the final velocity divided by 2. Now this only works if you're dealing with constant acceleration. Right? So you got to keep in mind that these equations were, were working with constant acceleration. So this will work for constant acceleration. V initial plus V final divided by 2 is equal to the average velocity. So this is equal to delta x over, and then see, once again, T initial is just 0, so I'm just going to write T here. So now I'm going to um, solve for delta x. And so delta x will be equal to VI plus VF divided by 2 times, I'm moving the t to the other side, times t. And so this is the third kinematic equation. Next, I'm going to substitute for t, and I'm going to use this equation right here. I'm going to solve this in terms of t, and I get v final minus v initial divided by the acceleration. And I'm going to take that and substitute that in for the time. So we get delta x equals and I'm going to flip this a little bit. You'll see why in a moment. But V final plus V initial. I'm just going to reverse that order. It's the same. It's still equal to the same thing. Times, and I'm going to do a substitution here. V final minus V initial divided by A. Okay. So now I'm going to um, uh, distribute out the factor out the 2A. I'm going to bring that out to the front. So that's going to be 1 over 2A. Okay. And then I'm going to multiply these two. You can use FOIL, uh, but what you're going to end up with is V final squared uh, minus V initial squared. Okay, The VIVF will be subtracted out by another VIVF, so those will, those will cancel each other out. And then 
we're going to uh, move the 2a over. So I'm going to move the 2a over so I get 2a delta x equals v final squared minus v initial squared. And then I'm solving for v final squared. So v final squared is equal to, move that, uh, I'm just going to flip it around, move vi with this here. So I get vi squared plus 2a delta x. And so this is going to be your uh, fourth kinematic equation.